ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Stardom Review. I am your co-host, Andre C. Right over here, it's the slightly disappointed princess herself. It's Melball. How you doing, Melball? <laughs> that's that's an accurate description. Yes, it has been it has been a day. You get something yeah. good, you get something shit. That's how we keep balance. <laughs> You get a new yeah. phone, but you lose all your strong spirits progress. Yeah, but, you know, I was complaining to you the other day about that game because I was doing my damnedest to try to get Torah, and I was at the point that I lost all of my stuff. I was eight draws in and had still not gotten Torah. And I, I I did the draw on this new game that I'm starting. Guess who I got on the first draw? That's a good throw, baby. <sighs> There's an upside to every downside, I guess. I mean, yeah, I got Tora. I lost I lost an awakened to Tommy. But I got I got a Tora. Ay, ay, ay. It is what it is. Can't get it back. And I got some pretty awesome stuff to compensate my my feelings of That's, disappointment. That is very good. That is very mm -hmm, good. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, my friend? Uh better than yesterday when we talked when we talked on the New Japan show. My legs still hurt, but not as much. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I can move a lot better. Uh, I got my movement back, so doing good. Ripped apart a shelf today, like a shelf I built in high school. Oh. entertainment unit that I need to get rid of part of it because it was just in the way. So I tore it all apart yeah. today. I got some uh, other housework done, rearranged my bedroom. Productive day today. Yeah, somewhat. And I, got, I still have more stuff to do after this show and tomorrow and on Thursday and on Friday and on Saturday. I'm just trying to, you know, make life more comfortable. Busy, busy, busy. Very much so. Very, very much so. But... We're not too busy to talk about wrestling. But before we do that, I want to thank each and every one of you for all the great support you have given us here. Uh, please keep liking the video, uh, sharing this out, and getting your friend and getting all your friends and family subscribed to the channel. Um, commenting down below because we love hearing from you guys. Uh, reaching out to us on our social medias too because we love to hear from you there too. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can learn every time we drop a new video. Ding dong. No, I don't have any candy as we record this. Video. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I have all, I'm in the basement of my house. This is where I record. And I have all the lights turned off upstairs. I only have the lights in this one room on right now. So that, and this is, and my lights are on the back of the house too. So people can't see me. So thank freaking Christ because I could not handle it. <laughs> I don't give candy away to people for free. No. Just simply oh. no. No. Andre. Andre. I, I, I was one of those people that enjoyed Halloween as a kid and then went, wait, this is stupid as an adult. I don't want to give oh. people candy for free. Rude. Rude. It's always uh, Halloween in a mail ball soul. But as I, I, lived I, in an, I lived in an apartment for 16 years before I moved in this house. I never had to deal with that shit. And I don't that's want fair. To. That's fair. See, even in my old apartment, I was ground level, so I still got some trick-or-treaters from the area. But um, now I live in a townhouse, and I don't know. We never, I've never gotten any children here, so I've just yeah. stopped buying the candy because I usually just end up eating two boxes of candy myself. And, like, I, I, I've going down your street, like your off street there – in the dark, it'd be kind of creepy. It's yeah, especially with that one light outside burnt out. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's a little ominous. It's not the most in a favorable, like, street, like, or like cul de sac, whatever the hell. Not even a street, it's like a row of housing that has its own road. It, it, yeah, it's a dead end kind of thing. Yeah, it, it's not the most inviting road. I might, if I was a kid, I might just walk by that whole complex. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I mean, it's one of the safer areas. And, hmm. But yeah, it's it certainly does not give the first appearance of safety any longer. We're not here to talk about Mel's lack of safety, though. We're here to talk about women's professional wrestling. 
for Halloween treat is watching some stardom. I watched a bunch of bunch of it early this morning. Uh, got it, got it all finished up. We're here to talk nights two and three of the Goddess of Stardom Tag League. Mm-hmm. A weird recurring nightmare where I always where I'm doing the wrong show in a dream. <laughs> <laughs> stuff for sure. It's a recurring nightmare now. <clears throat> the weird stress. We've only had it happen once with me, legitimately. There you go. We st- or, or the first okay, so night number two, we're not talking about the, we're not going to do run through the first couple of matches, but that Oedo Tai, Momotanabe, and Natsuka Tor, also known as Extra Large, uh, defeated Queen's Quest, uh, Lady C, and Mio Amasaki. Uh, Sayoriano defeated Ami Sare, Mina Shirakawa, and Ruaka in a four way match. Those were the undercard matches. We get into the tag league matches. We started out, it's Maximum Zamini, Hanako, and Saida taking on Anacon. That's all I can think whenever I, hear, when I see that name. Uh, from God's Eye, you have Saki Kashima and Siri. Um, again, really fun little like opening tag match. Um, Ida really getting to shine, especially in there with Siri, getting to use her power against the, the fighter. And then mm-hmm. Hanako just able to come in and use her size throughout in this match. I thought they both they both did a great job. Well, Saki, I think this is the least scared I've seen her in a match. Mm-hmm. She was certainly playing up the scared little girl like, thing throughout uh, this match, but like... Like early on, though, like she yeah. didn't seem as fearful because she was, she was in there with Ida. So like, but when she, she got in there with Hanako, then she used to oh, usually would panic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she was in there with Ida, so again, she seemed more confident in there because she's like, "Oh, this mm-hmm. I know this girl. I came up with this girl. She mm-hmm. she she she's, she's smaller than me. I can do this." But again, really, I, I thought really good match. Sure, looked good. Saki, looked, they all look good in this. Uh, mm-hmm. End of the match comes. Ida chases Saki to the back or to the. Far off in the building, Hanako can, is striking Suri. Ida is being cut back to her. She's being held on the floor by Saki. Uh, Hanako gets a suplex, just the big boot, but Suri ends up pulling pulling Hanako down with the Grand Suzaku, which is a double arm bar, mm-hmm. while Saki's using a chair to hold Saida out on the floor. And Hanako is forced to tap out. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, you're right. This was a little uh, fun little opener. There was those little comedic spots throughout it that Saki is very good. She's getting very good for. Um, oh, yeah. she, she wasn't really the comedic girl in Oedo Tai. She was kind of like the snooty girl in Oedo Tai. So I'm enjoying this kind of evolution for her. Be interesting to see where it kind of ends up. Um, yeah, I don't really have a ton to add to this one. Yeah, and then uh, after the match, actually, the losers got a speech where. Mm-hmm. Um, Hanako says, ah, I lost. Uh, today I was against Siri-san, who always practices with me. Damn it, it's frustrating. I think there is room for further growth. I want to prove that I can grow. On November 17th, New Blood, I will be ma- New Blood, or sorry, New- on November 17th, New Blood will be making its first foray into Kansai, uh, and I want to show off in my home region of Kansai. Rina, I'm waiting for your reply. Thank you. So it looks like she's going to be the one to challenge Rena at the New Blood show on November 17th. So I'm looking forward to that match. Mm-hmm. I as well. I as well. Because mm-hmm. Rena is, I mean, she's taller than Saida. But she is, like most people, um, in comparison to Hanako, quite smaller. Mm-hmm. Um, so it would be interesting to see. But she's also very technical. So Very. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see how that kind of goes. I look forward to that match as well. Me too. We move on to Mel's pick of the night. It is Divine yep. Kingdom. Micah and Megan Bain taking on Eye Contact, which is Hanan and Mayu Iwatani. Anything you want you want, you want to say before I get into this one? No, no. Go, go ahead and get into it, and I'll see if I can like integrate my stuff into yours. Hanan using her speed early against Micah. Eye contact, end up double teaming Micah, get the double drop kick. Uh, Micah drops Hanan with the shoulder blocks and slams her. Uh, she tags in Bane, who comes in, slams Micah onto Hanan. Then Micah slams, B- picks up Bane and slams her onto it, Hanan. Again, great spot. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bane, Bane gets Hanan in the corner. She's hitting the shoulder blocks, taking her, taking her out with. Uh, Hitting her in the in the gut with the the shoulder, mm-hmm. uh, in the corner. Uh, Micah comes back in, gets a slam for two, 
Uh, Hanan gets a ju- starts hitting judo tosses. It's a running back elbow. Uh, Mayu comes in, gets the roll, the like the schoolboy into the hop up into the drop kick to Micah. Uh, Mayu then gets a standing guillotine choke, but Micah suplexes her way out using the power right there. Um, mm-hmm. Bane hits a running boot to Mayu and then the Lariat to Hanan, then splashes them both in the corner. She gets Hanan up on her shoulders and catches Mayu and hits that Samoan drop, fall away slam, and gets a two count. It's awesome. I always love when mm-hmm. she does that. Uh, Mayu doing everything she can to Bane, uh, but she's really having no effect. So she ends up low bridging her over the top. Uh, they end up knocking Bane and Micah to the floor, and Maya hits a suicide dive to them, and then Hanan hits a high cross off the top. Bane and Micah drop them with shoulder blocks on the floor. Uh, Hanan gets a standing rear naked choke in the ring, and Maya tries to whip Bane into the crowd. Or sorry, they're on the floor. Tries to whip Bane in the crowd, but Bane whips her into the crowd. <laughs> she does the same to Hanan. Um, they catch Mayu on a on a high cross. Hanan drop kicks them down, runs to the back, and then she, or they're, and they're all fighting on the outside. And then, like, Hanan gets back to the ring at like seventeen. The ref keeps counting. I'm like, "Come on, Bane, let's go!" And Bane doesn't make it back, and we get a count out win for eye contact, which I think is the safest way to have them beat this team. Realistically, the only way yeah. they would be able to have this team win something legitimately like i could i could take if if they had they did it having mayu pin micah being that it's the iwgp champion pinning micah but i wouldn't have anybody pin bane like but like having bane get counted out makes so much sense it does it does um i i wasn't a fan of the count out win but like now that we talk about it it does it's the only way it would make sense mm. for them to obtain the two points as opposed to it going to a draw. Because we know that Mayu couldn't could make it to that draw. She could survive. Hanan, maybe not. But Mayu, <laughs> Mayu probably could. Um, yeah, this was a huge display of power from Divine Kingdom. It's just like Team Malball's girl crush. Love it. Mm. And they like I love the matching gear. With Micah's little fan headdress and everything. They just look so cool. Every time they come out, I'm just like, yes, queens, slay. <laughs> um, Hanan, I, I believe she actually pulled off and everything is Hanan on Micah at one point. Oh, yeah, she did. Yeah. I think I called it a judo sweep, but same. <laughs> yeah, everything is Hanan. Because everything is better than evil. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was uh, it was a fun power match for uh, Micah and Bane, but it was also a fun kind of resiliency match for Hinan and Mayu. I mean, Mayu Mayu just could survive everything. We've seen her roll down three flights of stairs. Um, indestructible that one. Um, yeah. Very, very fun. I, I absolutely love this match. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Very good match. Yeah. We move on. There was no speech after that one. Nope, there was no speech after that one. We're good. Um, we move on. It's Mirai Saku, my, and my Sakurai, and Mirai taking on FWC, Hazuki, and Koguma. Uh, Hazuki like running to grab the money that Mai was throwing up during her and during her posing on the top rope. Pretty goddamn funny. And then Mariah wearing the light up shoes. Yes. Aren't those cool? Very, um, very cool. What is her name now? Trinity. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very Trinity esque. I loved it. I loved it. I love the two. Uh, FWC double team my early, get the drop to hold into the senton, into the splash. Then they follow with the sandwich drop kick. Hazuki gets the face wash and running boot. Then Koguma gets the little stomps into the big stomp, but she only gets a one count. My fights back, hits a running kick. 
Uh, Mariah comes in. She hits a drop kick off of an Irish whip, uh, then fights off the double team from FWC, and then makes cook like spins it around, gets Koguma into like making Hazuki getting Koguma into DD position, and then lariats uh, uh, Hazuki down, who ends up DDTing Koguma. It was actually pretty funny. Uh, Mar- Mariah goes to the top. It's the top rope drop kick for two. Koguma ends up fighting back and hitting the Koguma cutter. Uh, Mariah and Hazuki trade lariats. Then they trade shots at center. Mariah unloads, but Hazuki gets the running boot. But Mariah gets a lariat and put both down. Uh, Mai gets the boot in the corner and the seated drop kick for two. Mai gets caught up on the ropes and uh, Hazuki hits a running boot. Koguma gets stopped by Mariah and Mariah throws the stack of other. Or, or, it's stopped by one of them, and the other one throws the money at in her face. It was pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, holds her on the mat for Mariah to, for Mai to hit a drop kick. Um, leg drop, final cut by Mai to Koguma for two. Um, FWC double team that ends with Koguma hitting a flatliner for two. Koguma hits a top rope drop kick for two. Koguma and Hazuki hit dual DDT, sending Mariah Saku to the floor. Hazuki goes for the suicide dive, but. Mirai Saku move out of the way and she ends up suicide diving Koguma on the floor. A little bit of miscommunication right there. Uh, Mai hits the top rope drop kick in the ring uh, and uh, to Koguma and Mirai hits hits the roll in flatliner, but Koguma reverses a suplex uh, to get the pin, but it gets broken up. Mirai Saku hit the stars wheelbarrow bulldog and Mai hits the falcon arrow on Koguma for two. Mai hits an elbow off the top, but the pin gets broken up. Mai whips Hazuki out of the ring, and uh, she gets, th- and then uh, she gets the Mai pan roll, which is a crucifix pin on Kaguma, and they get the win. I was surprised. Me too. Oh, hi. This was I- FWC is my pick, and the, the, uh. <laughs> yeah, that and like just the, the experience that the two of them have together, though. I definitely thought that they were going to pick up the win because, like, um, my Sakurai, Mirai, very, very new, very, you know, I wouldn't say inexperienced team because both the wrestlers themselves, very, very accomplished and and very good wrestlers. But they they don't usually pair together. Mm. So to see them win over a team that's, Partic- this is their third time participating in this tournament. Wow. Mm-hmm. Holy heck. Um, my Sakurai has just really become a fun, entertaining part of the show for stardom for me. This evolution of this lady ship character. I just, I absolutely live for it. It's so much fun. Yeah, so we did get speeches after the match. Uh, yeah. Good evening to all your super commoners, Maya saying, here at Kakorkin Hall. We got off to a good start by winning in the tag league against the talented FWC. Also, the next pay-per-view is in Osaka, and Donald Del Mundo is proposing a money ball tournament, the one where the ball fell last year. And uh, Yeah, so that's going to happen again with 10 million yen in prize money. I hope it doesn't, the ball doesn't fall. I hope they secure the ball better this time. I really do. Um, yeah. Uh, last year, I watched the, I watched the pay per view. It, it was brutal. Uh, then Mira gets the mic. She says, 10 million. I want the prize money. I want it. I want it. I want it. But I want to have a title match for this white belt. Is there anyone out there with the soulful challenge? And she just stands there waiting. Nobody. Just nobody. Then she goes, Anybody? And then finally, Sarah Yanu makes her way out. Yeah. Wearing a very dope Cosmic Angel shirt, by the way. It literally yes. This Cosmic Angel shirt circle around it, then has like a UFO above it. I was like, yes. So cute. I am totally down. I, if I could find one in my size, I want that shirt. Um, she comes in the ring says, Mirai-san, I beat you in the five-star GP, didn't I? Uh, I'll never forget the feeling of touching the belt on that day, will you let me challenge? And Mirai just looks at her and just has the just the biggest smile on her face. She's so excited. She says, of course. I think everyone would like that. And then Anu leaves. Yeah, she says, I will defend the belt with all my soul. I hope you will all support me with your super soul. 
and then uh, Mai goes to leave, but, but Mariah goes, not yet. And says, and with that, please, ex-, and Mai goes, please excuse me. And then they go, with all my soul. Mai says, with all my soul. And then Mariah goes, please excuse me. I loved it. It was a great little finish there. Yeah, these two are the the kind of, I don't want to say like comedic relief, but they are kind of the like Taguchi, yeah. DKC, without like being too goofy. But I feel like uh, Taguchi and DKC, I, I mean, as soon as I look at them, I go, yeah, they're not going to win shit. Where I look at like, or they're not going to have like, they're going to be, they're not going to be a serious contender. They're not going to be in the finals, that's for dang sure. Where I look at M- Mai and Mirai, while they're down on the same team, I believe these two could be a finals team easily. Hmm. I don't want it because I want FWC to be a finals team, but, <laughs> but it, you know, it, they have that ability. They have that <clears throat> gravitas. I mean, as I said, they, they are accomplished wrestlers on their own. Maybe that is all that they need. Hmm. Very much so. Yeah. We move on to the main event of night number two. It is Crazy Star Mesa and Susie Suzuki taking on Mafia Bella, Julia, and Tecla. Uh, new matching red gear for Mafia Bella. Man, this team, these girls change up their gear more than anybody in this business. I so like, much, but we love it. It's, it's, it's just like simple red leather. Or latex or spandex or something. I don't know what it was. Um, I'm going to assume it's a like a pleather, like a fake leather. Yeah. To, yeah, to look, elasticity. Look good. Look good. Yes. Um, uh, Julie gets Suzu up top early, uh, pull, but and then pull, uh, then and just like pulls her off and hits the northern light simplex. It was really weird. Uh, Suzu gets mm-hmm. a snapmare and PK to the back. Uh, um, okay, I, I guess shit, I'm not doing a full recap on this one. Sorry. Uh, really good opening though. Like they had a like Suzu and Julia had a really good back and forth. I, I just went into my normal mode. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> real re- like the fight with M- Mai and Tekla up top, and then and or or with it was gr- or was it Suzu and Tekla up top? Mm-hmm, this match, mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm. her, her just tossing Suzu with that spider suplex. God, I love that move. I love that spider suplex. That was May. That was May. May. Was it May that she tossed? Okay, I couldn't remember which one. May. It was. May. 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 Not May. 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 <laughs> May. Not mine. May. Yeah. Again, I really enjoyed that. I love that move. Um, yeah. Julia's technical ability is very underrated. Where she has the ability, like she, there was one spot where she just picked a leg, like picked the leg, spun Suzu, and and pulled her into this SCF super quickly, and it looked oh. really impressive. So good. Yeah, it, again, it's those little things that mm-hmm. you see there. Um, the end of the match, though, comes Bulldog Flatliner by Mafia Bella, that uh, or Hammerlock Flatliner Bulldog thing where Julia falls back. Uh, mm-hmm. And then they hit the dual head kicks for two. And May comes back in with – that was to Suzu. May comes back with a drop kick, and then the Crazy Star gets the dual head kicks. May hits a suplex for two. Thekla stops the power bomb and, and gets a Euro clutch, but it's broken up and May gets a snap suplex. Snap. Oh, snap sunset flip for two. I wrote mm-hmm. snap send it for W. So <laughs> that made no sense to me. Typing too quickly. Uh, top rope dropkick German suplex combo by Crazy Star to, th- to Tekla. And May hits the run, picks her up, running power bomb, and Crazy Star gets the win. This was one I didn't expect. No. I expected this to be a great match, and it was. But I didn't expect Suzu and Maymay to pick up the, the win on this one. Mm-hmm. It was a fun ride, though. Man, was Thecla filed up for this one. Loved it. Um, Yeah, I'm not going to add too much to that. You, you kind of covered all of the bases. So we did get a speech afterwards. Uh, they get presented a giant check with what I'm assuming is like deodorant. I don't know. Like, this is don't, don't you remember in the early days of um, NJPW Strong when Carl Frederick and Alex Coughlin, Gabe Kidd, was it Gabe Kidd? I think he was involved in some of them. And Clark Connors, they were advertising those cleaning supplies. 
And yeah. Coughlin was like, the stains were removed. And and Carl Fredericks would always be like, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Do you remember those commercials? <laughs> yes, that was the same brand. I was excited to see it anyway. I didn't know what was going on, but I was excited. <laughs> yeah. Um, so she, the guest speech, we get, we did a cork in Maine, cork in Maine. We won. Uh, well, everyone, how was it? This is May speaking. Uh, crazy star, crazy star. I think we can win the championship with this momentum. Please come and watch all, all our matches. And with this belt, and she's pointing, she's indicating to her high speed title. I want to take on various challenges. November 18th at Eddie on arena is the anniversary of May's debut. I want to make my first defense successful that day. But before that, there's an opponent I've been a little curious about for a while. Momoka Hanazono. Please be my first defense opponent. Thank you. Uh, Well, then, since I won, shall we close out with Crazy Star? Do we have an ending? (laughs) And she's like... Like or uh, Susan goes, do we have an ending? And then May go, May goes, I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, I fell in, and they they talk in a bunch of Japanese, arranging what they're gonna say, and they go, I fell in love with Crazy Star five seconds ago. <laughs> Just simple, interesting, and yeah, so sweet. I mean, I'm sure it actually translates to something more exciting. Yeah, but um, nice little closeout, it was sweet. It's cute. Yeah. I it's it. weird now for me not like I thought she was a child. No, she's like twenty two or twenty three, I think we figured out. Yeah, she's yeah, she's older. She's yeah. not she looks 21. like she's fourteen. Twenty one years old. Not. Oh well that's still young. Think of the children. Yeah, but again, not as young as you thought. No. This is true. Yeah. Anyhow, Sorry. I have Cat messaging me right now. Uh, our friend Cat. So uh, <laughs> I. Oh, I can't. And I just saw Astrid went live with their uh, t- NXT taking over show. There we go. Lots of stuff going on while we're talking. Astrid and Ed. Lots and lots happening. So we move on yeah. uh, to night number three. <laughs> the opening matches: Lady C's v Taraka. And then Micah and Megan Bain defeat Ami Sarai and Saki Kashima. Yes. Uh, so we get into it. Uh, the first match is Mel Ball's pick. It's Maximum Zamini taking on Cra- uh, Hanako and Saida taking on Crazy Stars and May Sarah and Suzu Suzuki. Uh, May tries to use her speed early, but Hanako is a wall. Oh, do you have anything before I get into this? No, no, go, go, go. Yeah, May, May's just like running into a wall. It's simple as that. Um, it was great. Um, mm-hmm. Hanako uses Ida as a battering ram and like then drops Ida onto May and then drops the knee, but the pin gets broken up. Susie sends Ida to the floor. May hits a drop kick. May gets the hair pull camel clutch to Hanako, which was a little mean. Mm-hmm. And Susie hits a running kick to the face. Um, Susie attacks in the corner. It's a running running double knees in the corner. May comes back in. They double team Hanako, but Hanako dives. Uh, out of the way in the corner, hits May May with hits May with Suzu, like she gets her up on the shoulder, then smacks uh, uh, May with the feet, uh, mm-hmm. then stacks them in the corner, hits the splash, then hits a running crossbody to both, and he gets a two count, pinning both of them in the two count too, which is impressive. Yes. So it's really a four. Technically, she should have won. Really, she's got a four technically. You know, I'm not good at math, but I don't think that's how it works. No. Um, she's only technically pinning one of them. Uh, speed <laughs> chop. Ida's in. She's getting the speed chops uh, to May, but Susan interferes. Ida fights her off, ends up pinning May for two. May gets a uh, drop toe hold and a roll through into a whip and drop kick. Uh, Susan takes out Hanako, hits the drive by to Ida. Ida fights back with a jumping double chop. They uh, trade strike to center. Suzu gets a hard shot to the face, and uh, Crazy Star hit dual drop kick or dual kicks to Ida. Uh, Suzu hangs Ida up on the ropes, hits the nasty German. Shout out to Nasty Nate Nixon. Uh, she goes to the top, but Hanako tosses her off, uh, and Ida hits the shoulder block off the top. And Ida and Hanako hit a suplex and lariat combo, which was actually really cool because, like. Hanako lifts her up in the delay suplex, and Ida runs in, lariats her, and they and they they take it down. I love that little 
double team there. Um, Hanako misses tossing Ida onto Suzu, and uh, May drop kicks her out. They hit the MX German co- suplex combo to Ida. Suzu hits multiple head kicks, but Ida grabs her on the pin attempt and gets her own pin for two. Suzu hits the running kick, but Ida gets this, comes back to the sliding Larry for two. Ida soft tequila shot, ducks roundhouse, gets Ida Bashi, but the pin gets broken up. May hits a blockbuster off the top rope, and Suzu hits a half Nelson slam, but Hanako breaks the pin up. Suzu hits tequila shot, but Ida kicks 2.9. Suzu then hits the dead left bridging German suplex and gets the win. That was a hell of an ending, too. Mm-hmm. Holy heck. Super impressive. Super impressive because she just wandered around the ring with uh, Ida in the uh, position before just whoop, there she went. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> this wasn't the opening match of the show, obviously, but opening match for the, like the tag league or the, the the goddess of stardom tag show that we had for the night. This was a great way to set up um, the rest of the uh, the show. Oh yeah. Um. Uh, I I really love the team of Crazy Star. Maximum Zabini has also been super super fun to to watch, um, but Crazy Star has really been like the sudden like superstar emergence team this year, especially in correlation with like when they cycle out Micah and Megan Bain. I really do feel like these four women are probably a better faction, the four of them together, as opposed to where they are right now. Oh, very much so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, super, super fun. I love this match. Hanako is coming along so nicely. And I love that every time her and Ida come out, they add a little something, something to their team. Mm -hmm. Um, The first night they came out, it was really like, you could see the awkwardness in their poses. They didn't know what they were doing. Tonight they came out, they were confident, they knew what they were wanting to do. Yeah, they kind of had this like the Ida's pose as well as the oh, she goes down and then she goes the into her like flex, but then goes yeah into Hanako's little curse. I, love, I, re- I really liked it. I really liked it. Yeah, we're watching this team grow together through this tournament. I suspect that we're gonna see Hanako join Stars when she chooses a team to um. To join, it's possible. It's she possible. certainly works a lot more and a lot better with them. We'll see. Cause... Although she did pick up some of the stuff from uh, Mina Shirakawa for the Club Venus intro, so. And and she does train with. She did say on the last show she trained, like she regularly trains with Siri. So. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's a lot of possibilities out there for this girl. She is certainly not going to a way to tie. I doubt it. It would be interesting if she did. Could you imagine? <laughs> Just evil Hanako? I'm down for that. Hey, why not? <laughs> yeah, we move on. God, are you, are you, sorry, are you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must be I, just want, uh, I just want the picture. Yeah, we, got, good. Uh, we have O2 line, Azumi and Miyu Amasaki taking on FWC, Hazuki and Kakuma. Again, Miyu off the hop is just this little firecracker just running drop kicks at Hazuki. But, but Hazuki's not going down. It's just... Mio doing everything she can to, to take her down, but then she ends up getting overpowered by FWC. Again, really fun early start to there. She did get her her uh get her pendulum DDT in, in the match, and I love that pendulum DDT. I really do. Um Azumi though, in like a rocket when she was in this match. Again, as you can Guma, very similar to the night before and everything and a lot what they did. But Azumi, it's like when she's in there, she's a rocket. She's constantly moving, she's so quick. Like, I don't know how she, again, she, I'm going to say she never technically lost her title because somebody else got pinned for it. But like, there's nobody, like, she's so fast. It's so hard to take a title off of her. It's like, mm-hmm. she's just so good. Her drop kicks are crisp. Everything is so smooth that she does. I'm so impressed with her. Um, in the end, though, High Kaguma ends up, pardon? High speed genius. Yeah. In the end, Kaguma slams Azumi in the ring. Hazuki gets the top rope sent on for two. Off the shoulder cutter by FWC. Hazuki tries the suplex, but as Azumi gets out, hits a Canadian destroyer, and then locks Koguma in with the Azumi sushi. 
and she gets the one, the two, and the three. Yes. I was surprised again because mm-hmm. this is my, my pick lost again. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but not a good beginning for SWC. But they are going against another team that is an experienced team in this tournament. Technically, because O2 Line were in this tournament last year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is true. Yeah. That is true. Um, not the best beginning for O2 Line either, um, though, um, as I believe they had to forfeit the first match because of a, an injury on, I believe it was Azami. What? No. they Didn't oh, they? No, the only the only forfeit is the Tam and Yuna forfeit from night one against. Uh, um, oh, that's probably I what I was reading. Okay. Yeah, it's just it, that's the forfeit. Mm-hmm. These two are are, are one and zero right now. After the, I'll show the graph to the end. It shows them as one yeah. and zero. So, well, good, good because that would be bad for them to be having the start that FCW or FWC. Why do I? Mm, Dyslexia, that's fun. Well, FW, FCW is a well-known promotion from way back I in the know, day. but I didn't watch it, and I'm literally looking at the thing, <laughs> breathing it off the screen. Good yeah. times. Good times. Um, FWC kind of having the Kushida uh, tournament. Mm-hmm. Um, Hopefully they get a bounce back. I'm praying. Yeah, I mean, they are kind of working, I, I think, a little bit more closely with NJBW people. So I think we might be seeing, like, the Cinderella story kind of thing starting to come in there, which would be fun. It would be fun for them. I would like to see that happen for them. But, yeah, I don't have anything else to add to this one. Again, really just good, fun match. Yeah, 100%. We move on to my pick of the evening. <laughs> it's Mirai Saku, Mirai and my, my Sakurai and Mirai taking on Eye Contacts, Hanan and Mai Otani. I love this match. I thought it was really, really good. I, I very much enjoy this. Um, Mayu gets the best of of my Mayu gets the best of my starting out, and Eye Contact double team Mai with drop kicks or with double kicks in in the ropes and running kicks to the head. Mm-hmm. Um, Mayu gets a PK to the back of mine and gets two. Mayu tries to fight back, but Mayu drops her with a kick to the chest, gets a camel clutch, and then she's like holding in a camel clutch and just kind of lets her go, sits on her back for a second, then just stands up. It was really weird. It was really weird. Um, mm-hmm. Mai comes back with a jumping kick to the chest of when Mayu's running and tags in Mirai. Mirai taking it to Mayu and hits a drop kick or two. Uh, Hanan comes in to help. Mayu, but Mirai hits a lariat to Mayu, making her like she does a thing where she locks the Hanan in a DDT position on Mayu and lariats Mayu down. Looking yeah. really good. Um, Mayu gets the dodge, the, the the dodge out of the corner and a roll up into a kick to the head of Mirai. Mayu ducking shots, landing forearms to Mirai, but she but Mirai gets her modified angle slam. I don't know what to call it. It's called modified angle slam at this point. That's what the closest thing it looks like to. Uh, Mayu hits the sling blade, and both are down. Uh, Hanan in with a drop kick in the cross body off the second to Mirai for two. Mirai blocks the northern light suplex with a guillotine choke, but Hanan fights out and, and hits a judo toss. Uh, Mai throws money in Hanan's face, and Mirai hits a flatliner. Uh, Mai in with a big with a running boot to the face. And a boot in the corner, and then hits a drop kick for two. Mai gets the paradise lock and on, sits on her, but Amayu comes in. But uh, my uh, my had the wherewithal to like get up and drop toe hold uh, Mayu into Hanan, breaking the paradise lock. I thought it was really good, um, mm-hmm. or tripping her up and having her fall into the paradise lock. Mai gets the inverted DDT stunner and then the stunner contact to both members of eye contact and hits the second rope drop kick to Hanan for two. Hanan blocks the northern lights and Mayu hits a super kick into everything is Hanan for two. This is where I noted everything is Hanan. Uh, <laughs> Mirai and my double team Hanan hit the and they hit the wheelbarrow bulldog, which is just very much a stars move. Uh, and Mai hits the northern light suplex for two. Mai goes to the top, but Mayu pushes her to the floor. Mayu hits a head scissors to Mariah, sending her to the floor, and hits a suicide dive to both on the floor. Um, back in the ring, running back elbow, and the running famous by Hanan for two. Mai hits a bulldog, 
but Hanan hits the backdrop suplex. Hanan calls for a move, but gets rolled through, and Mayu uh, and Mariah are in, like, come in and just a giant weird mess. But Mayu ends up getting a roll up and gets broken up. Uh, Stars do a double underhook DDT, and Hanan gets that follow away slam bridge for two. Then Hanan hits a bridging, like this. Back, they call it backdrop drive, but it looked more like a regal plex to me because she had she picked the leg on underhooked the leg and had the leg up as she did a backdrop driver that looked yeah. like, but she didn't trap over the sh- over the one shoulder to grab the lock. But it was like half regal plex backdrop driver, it looked really good. And Hanan yeah. picks up the win, like that surprised me more than anything. Yeah, that Hanan that was really pinned my. Mm-hmm. to win this like that was surprising as hell yeah and especially given the beginning when she started out with mayu um you know she she wasn't being her like ladyship ish self she kind of like serious up for her the time that she was facing mayu mm-hmm. so i was really surprised that they uh, had her take the loss in this one Me um too. yeah <sighs> what to say? What to say? I actually didn't write down any notes for this one, so I'm just trying to like think about anything else I could say about this one because this was a fun match. This was yeah. a really fun match, and I do enjoy seeing, um, you know, how the teams are starting to kind of come together. Mirai really is kind of coming in to help be that protector for the ladyship, but the ladyship very technically sound on her own doing pretty good to defend herself and i'm noticing my uh, um really having that kind of same similar resiliency that um cash masaki is kind of known for um mm-hmm. and she really kind of showed that off in this one again especially against mayu yeah, yeah. yeah really good match Mm-hmm. And that's why it was my pick of the night because I just had a lot of fun watching this match. And I, ha- yeah. I have to really shout out Mayu's new gear, this, the red and blue top, the, the blue and white gear she has. I really like the new gear. Kind of, it's a transit. Yeah. Mayu, it's just again, new gear compared, like it's again, similar style to what she's always worn, but she's updated the colors and I really like it. Like going from her old, mm-hmm. like green and pink one and the other ones that she had. I really like, I really like this one. I do too. It, it looks very, I don't want to say it looks Harley Quinn because it doesn't look Harley Quinn. It's like fun and cute. And I really like how her tails are different every single night. Mm-hmm. And it's very much raw, raw USA. Like she's, had, she's coming over here in a couple of weeks to that is her true. IWGP belt. So maybe that's why she got the gear made for, for her, her American debut. Or, sorry, her American return. She has worked over here when she was in our as the ROH Women's Champion. I'm very wrong about saying debut. I apologize. Uh, we move on to the main event. It is at extra large. Momo Watanabe and uh, Natsu Katora taking on Mafia Bella, Julia, and Tekla. Uh, Tekla right off the hop trying to get like roll ups early and like really trying to and, like trying to bait Momo to attacking her when she's in the spider pose, but like mm-hmm. Momo's like. No, I'm not doing that. I know what's going to happen if I do this. <laughs> I, I, I quite enjoyed that. I mean, smart wrestling on Thecla's part because she knows that, I mean, in this situation, she was the smallest girl in the ring. Like, mm-hmm. you got Momo Watanabe, who's just known for her strikes. You got Natsu Katora, who is just, <laughs> she is, she is savage and she is on a roll right now. Yeah, I don't want to tussle with those girls. I want to roll them up and get out of Dodge. <laughs> Yeah, so they end up on the floor at one point, and Tora tosses Julia in the chair. Then she gets her and she tosses her into the chairs again. Then she takes water from, I think it was Ruaka, drinks some, and then just spits it in Julia's face, just like, screw yeah. you. Again, uh, overall, really good match, I thought, with these two teams. Like, a good mm-hmm. match. Like I, I, It wasn't my favorite on the night, but like mm-hmm. they, I think they did a good job. Uh, good back and forth. Julia, I, I, I'd love to see her go into a program with Nessa Katora at this point, maybe over the strong title. I think those mm-hmm. two could have a couple. Have, when they were in there together, they look really good together. Yeah, I think they I could think. have a good, a good little fight there. End mm-hmm. of the match comes, though. XL goes for, or extra large goes for the double team, but Julia stops it. Uh, and hits and gets the Euro clutch, or and Thekla gets the Euro clutch, but Tora breaks on Momo, but Tora breaks it up. Tekla gets the octopus lock on Momo, but Starlight Kid distracts the ref. Tora hits uh, Tekla with the bat. 
and uh, Momo hits the dude buster, but Julia breaks up the pin. Julia gets tossed out of the ring. They hit the suplex into the spine, bu- sit out spine buster. Um, and Momo hits Thecla with the Hito Danashi driver, which is that front uh, dude buster. And Mafia Bella lose going 0 2 in their first two matches. And Exile gets the big old win here to go, I think, 2 0. Say. We'll look at the graphic after. Yeah, they went two. They're going two and zero now. It's it's crazy, man. I mean, yeah, <laughs> especially when you have, you know, two of the three artists of stardom champions, um, and Julia being a double champion, also the NGPW Strong Women's Champion. You know, it. it I mean, she wasn't the one who took the pin, but still, I, I mean, but then look at what they're facing. I mean, again, what I said at the beginning, you know, you want to get them pinned and out of dodge as quickly as possible. You don't want them getting their hands on you or the shit that they have at ringside. (laughs) So, yeah, um, this was a a fun match, but you're right. It wasn't like a spectacular, crazy, crazy thing that I I kind of was kind of expecting because the energy of Mafia Bella, though very, very calm, Julia and Thecla as wrestlers are very, you know, aggressive and dominant and they're Mm -hmm. loud, especially Thecla, Mm -hmm. Uh, very, very loud. Um, So I I was looking forward to the two of of these teams going at it pretty good. I still feel I got a lot out of it. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't... It didn't hit the way I thought this match was going to hit. Yeah, I think that's the best way to describe it. Because I expected yeah. something else, and most of those expectations were met. Yeah. I just would have liked to see maybe a little bit more. But maybe that's for another time. Yeah, again, I, I want to see Julian and Tora uh, do it in the singles. I think those two would be mm-hmm. awesome. I mean, and look at how Tora's looking now. Holy oh, heck. She's, she's looking killer these days, man. It's so killer. marketable as a great heel. Just mm-hmm. saying. So we, we're just going to get to the uh, point totals here at the end. I'm going to just turn that off for a second. Um, so we've got in the Red Goddess Division, we have Mafia Bella, uh, 0-2, 0 points. We have Anacon. Uh, they are 1-1 one one with 2 points. We have Moonlight Venus, 1-0 uh, oh with 2 points. Crazy Star, uh, two zero oh, and one with five points. Maximums on Mini zero oh, and three with zero points. I think they're out of this tournament because they only got three matches left. Um, I don't know if they can rally back at this point. Um, extra large uh, have four two and zero oh, with four points. Then prominence are uh, zero zero oh, and one with a draw with one point. Over in the Blue Stars division, we have Cosmic Angels are 0-1. Uh, we have not talked about them yet because Tam Nakano was out with any injury, so they had to forfeit their first match. We're hoping they get back, or they I just hope they pull like Sariano or somebody else to team with you. Know, they have to pull Anu at this point if it's going to be anybody else from Cosmic Angels um, to team with Yuna just to finish this tournament out. But yeah, mm-hmm. um, uh, eye contact uh, are. Two and one with four points. You have uh, Mirai Saku, uh, two and one with four points. One of those wins are is coming from the forfeit win over Cosmic Angels on what was supposed to be the first night of the tournament. Um, FWC, uh, one and two with uh, two points. Uh, O2 Line, one and oh with two points. Divine Kingdom, one and one with two points. And then the Reiwa Tokyo Towers are O oh and one with zero points. Interesting to see who's far along and who isn't, and how many matches there's been with who and such not, and yeah, who's had only of... one match and who's had three or four already. Could well, be. yeah, because again, like you have one, two, three, four, five, five, or four teams that have actually wrestled uh, multiple or uh, three matches, one that has wrestled two and has had a forfeit win on a third. Mm-hmm. Um, and a bunch of other teams still have one match only in. So, again, mm-hmm. it's, just, it's just their odd scheduling for this is what it is. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. That's kind of what they're known for, though. We've oh, seen yeah. it before. 
<laughs> yeah, very much so. But again, glorious, uh, glorious chaos. Glor glorious, glorious chaos. But yeah, uh, very good tournament uh, so far. I very much enjoyed these ladies. Um, but before we get out of here, let's come to the end of another show. You can find me on the X Master on Blue Sky and Hive at that Canada guy, TikTok, Instagram, and the threads at that Canada dude over here on the face, uh, Andre Mobile Wrestling Facebook page. If you want to check us, talk to me through Facebook, uh, you can find me this Friday night talking low key over on our local establishment, twitch.tv slash our local establishment on Marvel Talk with my boy, old Ed. Um, we talked about it over there. You can also see the, the live stream on youtube.com slash at our local establishment. You can also see the replay over there at youtube.com slash at our local establishment. Uh, check that out. And then don't forget to hit up our, our buddy Mike the Ref. Simulcasting all of our great stuff over there on Backbreaker Video, youtube.com slash at Backbreaker Video. Uh, lots of great wrestling content there. If you want to see his live content, go to twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. You can watch his AEW watch along with him on Wednesday. All his great gaming content. If you want replays of his gaming content, go to youtube.com slash at Backbreaker underscore gaming, where you can find him, Mr. PJC, Mr. Rick Jules, and that frequent guest, Miss Kayla J. Kayla J. Is that a J? I love Kayla J. You very much do. Uh, Melball, where can yeah. they find you? If you're wanting to follow on Melball, you can follow her on the X thing at Collins Melball. You can follow her on everything else Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, and Blue Sky at Melball Collins. You can also find me on our local establishment's programming pair, Rum Mindful with Alex the Werewolf, every couple of weeks. We've got a few things coming up for you guys at the end of the year, so you want to stay tuned to find out what we got planned for ya. You can also find me on Astro Pizarro's YouTube channel with our show, Ladies Wrestling Showcase. We're hoping to have a special guest on our next show where we are discussing the women's uh, PWI 250 there. So that's going to be a fun show to talk about. And that should be coming out on a Friday. So stay tuned to our socials to see what time that is coming out. What else? If you're wanting to watch Stardom, you can find it at Stardom World.com. We will leave the link in the description box below. It is 990 yen or approximately $10. Canadian. Hello. There you go. Shout out Sean Spears, but it's actually more like 715 US. So like closer, a little closer to eight for us, but still. I, I, I paid 952 on the one that oh. was just charged to me. So I don't well, know if it's a go. new charge or if it's just what the old charge number was. I don't know. You know what? I got an email about it today that I haven't looked at yet. So maybe that's what that's saying. Says it won't be charged until after the new new schedule up. So I'm pretty and I, and I look back, I pay about nine fifty two a month or as it is. So well, there you go. Andre has been keeping the price from it. It's not ten dollars. It is nine fifty. Nine fifty. But that is still a great price for some amazing wrestling from the ladies. You can go there and watch some of the stuff that we talked about today. You can go back into the vault of stuff that they have there, see some familiar faces like WWE's Piper Niven, Sheena Baszler, Blair Davenport, who is known as B. Priestley. You can see AEW stars Tony Storm and Jamie Hayter. You can also see uh, people like Io Sky, Io Shirai, whatever she's known as in the WWE. So you want to go check that out. Andre, my trusted friend and colleague, do you have anything else to say to the beautiful people? No, I just want to thank you all for coming over and hanging out and watching us and liking the video, subscribing to the channel, sharing it out to all your friends and family. Whether you hate them, whether you love them, just share us to them. Um, your mortal enemies. Yeah, all of them. Um, please keep commenting down below because we love talking to you. Don't forget to hit up our social media to talk to us there too. And also hit the notification bell to be alerted every time we drop a new video. Ding dong. I said I have no candy. <laughs> Give us the candy. <laughs> and that being said, I am your mama. Over there is Andre. We will see you next time. Mwah!